Today we're going to show you a quick demo on the Bailey TN800 tube notcher. It's a pretty unique machine. Unlike um, other types of end mill notchers, this one uses a single one inch OD cutter. And so you don't have to have a lot of different cutters to do your notching with. This has a, has a single cutter size and it travels in an orbital path through the tube. So there's a setting on the machine you can see over here where you actually dial in your uh, OD of your tube. That helps to set the orbital path. And I'll show you how that looks a little bit. As you turn this front handle, it actually takes the end mill cutter and it's going to push it through the tube and use an end mill cutter a little bit more the way it's meant to be used as it travels through the material. So I'll show you a few things, a few tricks about how to use this machine. Works really nicely. We've got some inch and a half tubing here. And, um, you know, one of the tricks with the with tube notching is always to get your depth of notch where you want it so that your notches um, are placed properly in the tube that you're that you're notching. So on this machine, um, you start with this red arrow here pointing vertically to this mark. Then you can bump your tube up against the up against the end mill and then on the digital readout right here we can zero that and then you can use depending on your tube size you can decide what you want to do in this case we're going uh, 200 thou back so you're starting with a gap of 200 thou now this uh, this notcher is capable of um, doing angles you can loosen the you can loosen this up to do different uh, different angles. We're just going to do a straight notch here for starters. There's a scale on the side here that shows you that degree of notch. Um, it can also do offset notching. You've got, a, you've got a bolt here you can loosen and then this little jacking bolt will raise and lower the vise so that it changes the height of the, the offset of the notch on your cutter. And then of course you can always uh, use this to run the run the vise in and out which allows you to center the tube on the end mill cutter in this case actually you know it's recommended to run it as close to the chuck as possible to keep any vibration or flex out of the cutter so we're going to show you real quick how that looks we'll just turn the machine on And then we just run this through a cycle and we'll just run it right through the tube. Bring it back to the top. As you can see, just needs a just a slight bit of deburring here. I'll deburr it real quick. Show you. What that looks like. You got a nice clean fit. Very precise. Ready to weld.